Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> All right. All right, Granny. Oh, it's always nice talking to you, Granny. Goodbye. Hey, friends. As you can hear, I was talking with my Granny, who stays far 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 away but thanks to the invention of mobile phones that no matter what the distance is we can communicate with our loved ones whenever we want hmm wait a minute i think this is a great topic to explore so in today's episode let us enter the digital world of cell phones and figure out how it works zoom in I still remember a few years ago, before the discovery of cell phones, we used to visit public telephone booths to make a call, like the one they show in the classic Superman movies where he changes. But as time passed by and technology evolved, those huge wired devices were converted into small and smart portable devices which not only allows us to talk to a person but to do a lot more than that like a computer but the question still remains the same how do these compact devices we call cell phones work let's have a look at it so one busy day due to some strange reason you miss your class so you decide to take an update from your friend and Yank out your phone, dial their number and once they pick up your phone, the game begins. As you speak, the microphone inside the cell captures your voice and converts it into electronic signals. These signals then get converted into binary codes like 0 and 1 which are packed into the form of radio waves and are transmitted further with the help of an antenna. However, as the phone's antenna is not so powerful enough to send them to the desired destination due to many complications, cell towers were established. These cell towers are located inside allotted geographical areas which are divided into hexagonal portions known as cells. The electromagnetic waves that are being transmitted are received by these stars into the cell which is in your geographical area. The receiver tower then passes on these signals to the destination tower in the form of electromagnetic waves and thus the person you are talking to receives the signal. But as I already said, this transmission is not smooth and the signals can get distracted. So, to prevent this distraction, Mobile Switching Center or MSC is built. These centers have all the information stored into it of the registered SIM card holders. The area in which your SIM is registered is your home MSC and if you move away from it then the closest MSC of your location becomes the foreign MSC. The responsible MSC then informs the receiver's home or foreign MSC depending on the location of the receiver to transmit the signals to the receiving tower and that's how the destined person receives your call. And you won't believe me, 
all this happens in a matter of seconds. Always remember my dear friends, although the mobile phone has proved to be a technological boon and a part of our daily lives, its overuse can lead to many issues such as headaches, insomnia and many other fatal diseases. So, always make sure that you use your cell phones only when it's needed. Trivia time! Did you know the first mobile phone call was made in 1973 by Martin Cooper, a former Motorola inventor? Also, you won't believe the fact that mobile phones have 18 times more bacteria than toilet handles. Ew! <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!